Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to another Bradford City Road to Glory Career Mode episode. Today, we are going to be playing the game straight away against Leicester City in a away game. And yes, as well as that, let me go through some of the events of the previous episode. I actually came up with the idea, and I do not do this very often. As a matter of fact, almost never. I felt like... Um, I wanted to sort of, um, you know, just trade a few plays. I don't really trade plays in FIFA 14 all too much in career mode, and I figured I'd give it a shot. Now, I've got two plays that I like and have decent potential, but I just can't stand playing with them. So I wanted to trade them with someone that I felt had better stats and was going to be a bit of a better player right here, right now. One of the players was Yassin Benzia. So I offered trade offers for a bunch of like center forward strikers and center attacking midfielders, and one of the better ones that accepted that I got was a player from Dundee United called Stuart Armstrong. I accepted that offer, paid a little bit more wage. I'm paying him a $40,000 wage, and it's deserved because he has 75 overall. Benzia had 70 overall. So I've immediately got a guy that's got 5 plus overall off a trade, and yes, he is a year or two older than him, but fine, I don't care. That's awesome. And as well as that, the other player that I sent a trade for was a right back that I got from the free agents this year, and that was, uh, or should I say this season, and that is Tarek Camdow, or Chamdow, but whatever. Anyway, I traded for a bunch of right backs, and I got a few that said yes, one of them was DeAndre Yedlin. He's a player that I've been looking at for a while and trying to get even before the hype that he received after the World Cup. And he amazingly said yes. I expect him to be around the 70 mark as well. And Camdow is only like 75, 76 rated. So that's very surprising. And he's actually older than Yedlin. Only thing is, as much as I want to accept this offer... I have 141 with all the money in wages that I have going to wages. It's still $141 short of hitting that wage where I can sign him. And if I go to ask the board for money, it will just say no immediately. It says it doesn't trust me. Even if I ask for $10,000, nope, nothing. So I've either got to wait until someone tries to send me a transfer offer for one of my players and I accept it, or I did win an FA Cup game a few days ago in the game. So I have to wait like another week and a half until I get that money. And when I do, I can resend an offer for Yedlin. But it is more than likely that we are going to have to resend the offer, or resend the contract, which is annoying. His club said yes. Hopefully he still accepts the deal for 20000 But yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. But until then... Let's play this game. Now, since trading one of my better strikers for a very, very good center attacking midfielder, I have now done something that I've been meaning to do for a while, and that is change up my formation. I've gone from what was essentially a 4-4-2 formation, custom built and altered, to just a straight up 4-5-1 attack. So I now only have one striker up forward. The main striker is going to be Krishantis, but he's a bit tired, so I've not played him in this game. I've got Hansen going forward for this one, but still capable, but even he is a little bit tired. I've also learned that Leicester City have the uh, Dutch goalkeeper that played all of their games at the World Cup, Kleisen or Kleisen or whatever his name is, as a transfer, and it's his debut game. It's also the debut game for uh, Stuart Armstrong. So there you go. We've got a bit of a story behind this game, but le now let's just get the win. Come on. And that man himself, Stuart Armstrong, immediately getting some action on the ball, whipping in that cross. It's a decent one, and the header is right at the Klee Leeson, or whatever, however you pronounce his name. I might have even had enough room to take a touch there. The header is one. It falls to Kennedy, who, again, is not a player that I give games to very often, and might not continue to, but this is good. Armstrong's going forward, taking a nice touch. Oh, I thought that was in. I seriously thought that was in. Fuck, well, he's seen a lot of the ball early. Great signs. Oh, my God, that's a ball. That is a ridiculously good ball. No way! That's just a lob through ball that's gone perfectly onto the chest of a great run from whoever the fuck that bloke is. There we go. Armstrong. Oh, he's had such a great game. And he's played through Hansen. He slid tackled, but he's through. Equalized son, do it. No fucking way. It's right at the keeper, Hansen. No, Hansen, no! How did you not score? I'm fucking... I'm losing it with... What, what, what the fuck sort of tackle was that? I, I, that was a, no, no, no. It was a ridiculously good tackle that I, no, I'm fucking gobsmacked at how I didn't fucking get the ball there. But anyway, it might not matter. It might not matter. No fucking way. It's hit the post. It's hit the post. Excellent work. And go back in the middle for the cross. Great delivery. Oh my God. How's the keeper stop that? Nah, we're not fucking scoring in this game. It's impossible. The game won't let it happen. I am absolutely gobsmacked. This game, it won't let me win. It won't let me score, for starters. We got one minute of stoppage time. I, oh. All right, come on. No, we needed to make that tackle right then and there and launch. But we don't have enough time now. And we can't fucking tackle this guy anyway. He's... Oh, my God. A def oh, my God. A defender pulled up in the middle that was marking the guy that scored the goal. 
No fucking way. E, no, it, no. Okay. No. Look at this. In the middle. A defender has pulled up, and that has allowed Nugent all the space in the fucking world to shoot. You fucking pull a hamstring then. Who pulled the hamstring? Who was it? Um, Bates? Or, I think it might have even been Armstrong. I think the center attack and midfielder Stuart Armstrong, who was running around all day, all fucking day, and it was sublime. It obviously got too much for him right at the end, and he's pulled up. I can't believe that. Wow. That's just some fucking... Yeah, he's injured. Please don't tell me that he's actually going to be injured, and I've lost him for like a week in his first game. That was quite honestly one of the most fucked games I think I might have ever played. But the player ratings, I've got to give the votes now. Seven for Hanson is the highest. I'm surprised by that. I thought Stuart Armstrong would have got more. But then again, when you lose 2-0, I mean, you're pretty harsh on everyone. But anyway, the votes for that game. I'm going to give one vote to Jason Kennedy, who I brought in to replace Aaron Moy, give him a bit of a spell. And he was good. He filled the socks perfectly. And he was, yeah, he was, got around. He was very, very good. I'm going to give two votes to Hanson. And I'm going to give three votes to the debutant, Stuart Armstrong. He was solid. Really, really good. Right up until the point where he pulled up, where I guess that's not his fault. That's just the fucking game making him fucking pull up. But anyway, uh, it's disappointing. But he was unbelievable for the whole 90 minutes. It was it was great. Really good performance. But now we've got to advance on through to this game against Ipswich. I doubt we'll get that money for the FA Cup game before then. So, yeah. Uh, depends on whether or not I might get a transfer offer for a player that I have transferred listed. I doubt that, though. It's not going to happen. Nah, it's not going to happen. Or is it? Oh, yes, we are. For Louis Swain, who is a player that I am, I am actually like willing to sell. They want 35000 for him. He's worth forty. You know, it's not even worth counter-offering for. But in the end, that very little amount of cash that we're going to get for, 40, for a 48 uh, overall 20-year-old, it's like he's not going places. We know that. So I'm just going to get rid of him. Yeah, and uh, that's enough cash to give us enough wage to finally sign uh, DeAndre Yedlin. So as soon as I get the play sold message, I'm going for him. But it looks like we got to play a game against Ipswich before that happens. Okay, we need to bounce back after that loss. A very frustrating loss. Hopefully the game will let me get some goals in this one. Let's go. Here we go. Fucking hell, look at this run. Marking, marking, marking. Where is it? It's nowhere to be seen. Fuck! Oh! Oh, I'm getting an, I'm getting ridiculously frustrated right now. I can't control all of you. You've got to fucking lift. And that ball was unbelievable. Blocked though. Well done. Good goal line defense. But their through balls are killing me right now. They're getting a lot of them in. Go Meredith. Run. I know you don't have a lot of pace, but you've got to try to use it. My bloody camera has died. That's so fucking awesome. Anyway, let's just try again. And out the back again. Space now for a shot. And the goal. I love it. It's Yates. Half time. We equalize as soon as my camera dies. Is that going to be a thing? My camera dies. We equalize. That could be a thing. Going out wide here. Danny Pacheco and Macaulay Christiantis will combine. The through ball goes through. You got to keep on running, Christiantis. No way! How did you think that's who I was trying to go to? But we can catch him on a counter here if we play this well. Oh, we played this so well. Look at it. look at all the space. He's going to run in and score. No, he's missed. No, 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 no. How have we not scored that? How are we not in front? Creswell with a little tug of the shirt. I'm assuming with the, uh, was the little thing that put him off. Oh, mate, come on. Crescentis, we've got it. We've got to get this goal. Yep, we've chased him. We've made him go one way and still one way. Oh, I've taken a poor touch. Wait, we're alive. We're still alive. We've still got the ball. And still, somehow, we've got the ball. Great. Oh, is another play that's pulled up? Might not matter. That's a fucking shit contact. Doyle, that's that's what you got behind it, Doyle. You can't see me right now, but I'm fucking filthy. Oh, it's another game. We should have won. We very easily could have scored. I mean, Crescentis was through. We finally sent a striker just away, and he just missed it. He's blown it. Oh, this game is just really frustrating me at the moment. Danny Pacheco got man of the match. It's fucking blown my mind. Me and FIFA 14 do not think we are just on a whole other world right now. I thought Pacheco was my worst player in that game. And they've given a man of the match. Fucking FIFA 14, you have got to be retarded. At least we are starting to get somewhere. But I do have some votes now that I think I might hand out, as you can see there. Uh, the man of the match was Danny Pacheco. But let's see if that's the case. I've pretty much spoiled that. No, it isn't. But anyway, 
Uh, the votes in that game. I'm going to give one vote going to Aaron Moy. I'm going to give two votes to Yates. And I'm going to give three votes to Ryan McGowan, who was very good early defensively. He had a lot to deal with, and he dealt with it well. And throughout the rest of the game, he just showed up and was really good and saw a lot of the ball, and I thought he was very good. So, yeah, uh, Ryan McGowan gets three votes. The team that we just played in Ipswich actually won him. So, that's interesting. But, uh, again, he's old, 65 rated, and I'm not really planning on selling him, but... I think I'm just going to have to try to keep him for now because we've only got three strikers after Benzia. But now after the sale of uh, Louis Swain, we now have enough wage budget to hopefully, I think yes, now sign DeAndre Yedlin. It's all a matter of whether or not he is... No, he's not. Unsuccessful. We now ha we have to resend him the offer. If he says no again, I, if, if he says no to what we already have agreed with, I'll be very fucking pissed off. It's exactly what we said, it, what we agreed to about a week ago. I'm going to resend him the offer. If he says no, I'll be absolutely devastated because that means we probably won't be able to get him. But still, let's advance on through. We've got a game against West Ham. We hear back from him. Immediately, he says yes. Okay, finally some good news. Welcome, DeAndre Yedlin. That's what I'm talking about. Let's accept the offer and let's see what he's worth. And by what he's worth, I actually mean like what he's actually rated. I'm expecting around 70 is... There, there he is. He's 72 rated and the pace. Jeez. Oh my God. The pace, the agility. It's a shame he can't really play any other spot apart from right back though. But, oh wow. No, that's uh, that's awesome. And he's only 21 years of age. I'm sorry. Uh, what's his name? McGowan. You're one over or less. You're about four years older than him. Nah, Yedlin's getting the top spot. Great stamina, great pace. And he's got some pretty decent stats everywhere else. Nah, that's awesome. Only 21 years of age. He's a player that I cannot believe we got from trading Camdow. But anyway, that's it. We've got DeAndre Yedlin. That is a great signing. So in the end, this uh, this episode didn't turn out to be all uh, doom and gloom. We finally get the cash from the FA Cup as well. And now we've got a game to play against West Ham. There will be one more uh, green screen video. Whether we'll be leaving the January transfer window in that episode, we'll just have to find out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. We were be able to get one point of a possible six, and that is frustrating as all hell. But either way, we're just going to have to try to bring it against West Ham, who are only on top of the table. But anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and peace out. Bye-bye.